Now, former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak has requested to be acquitted of all charges of corruption and embezzlement in return for paying all of his dues to the state. This request also has opened the issue of whether it is right for corrupted officials or businessmen to pay for their freedom. Yasser Hakim has more. It started with a new law issued in January. It allows for the acquittal of any person accused of corruption if he pays renunations to the state. Already 35 cases are in negotiations with the government. All of them are either officials or business partners to former President Hosni Mubarak and his family. Most notable is businessman Hossein Salim, a close friend of Mubarak who escaped to Spain in 2011. He offered to hand over 80% of his wealth, over $500 million, so he can return home. This issue has caused mixed reactions in Egypt. Some believe the new law will encourage corruption. It's not logical to pay money to get out of jail. So they steal our money and simply pay more money and are set free. But most businessmen support reconciliation. First and foremost, they are Egyptians and are willing to correct their mistakes and return the money. They are businessmen and when they return to Egypt, they will bring more investments with them and support the economy. They will pay billions of Egyptian pounds as remunerations. The money will go into the state budget. A committee for retrieving assets abroad has been re-established to get hold of the accounts and properties of the ones accused of corruption. The government says it will go along with reconciliation efforts whether it's popular or not. According to official figures, the new law will help retrieve over $15 billion in the next three years. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.